Hi, everybody, and welcome again to Z Code Sports System. Here we developed automated systems to help you win big. And again, it does not matter what sport you're betting on, we have you covered. So, as we head into the second half of the NFL season, teams are starting to make their push towards the playoffs. So, every game is vitally important. So, we're going to get started as we take a look at the action for this week. Again, if you're not already a member, please join and you will have access to the Z Code VIP Club section, which will help make your picks more easy. Okay, so we're going to scroll down through here and take a look at some of these games for the week. First one we want to look at is the Atlanta Falcons and the New Orleans Saints. Both teams enter play burning hot. The Saints are 7-2 and two and lead the NFC South, while the Falcons are coming in at 3-6. and six. You see that the Saints have a 1.45 to 2.78 odd favorite. And the spread is at 4.5 with an over under of 51.5. If you take a look at the head to head matchup, you will see that the teams have not yet played this season. The power rankings indicator shows the decided advantage for the Saints at plus 28 compared to plus 7 for the Falcons. If you want to consider the over under in this game, you can see that the Falcons are trending in games playing over the line. The black line compared to the blue line. And you can see the same thing for the Saints well over the line. So this is a very strong indication to bet the over. And it's a very wise play. If you want to consider the uh, how stable the two teams have been, how well have they been performing according to their favorite underdog status, see both teams are pretty stable. The Saints even more so at plus four compared to the Falcons at plus two. So let's take a look at the line, see if there's been any movement in the line for this week. Now we can see here the money line. So you can see the money line back here at 1.41. And you can see now the current line is at 1.45. Slightly different because, probably because the fact that Drew Brees is hurt, but still the Saints are a very decided fair, and I believe that the Saints will win this game. And cover. Next game we want to look at here as we scroll down the list, you see it's a full slate of action. Let's take a look at five of the games Pittsburgh and Jacksonville, Tennessee and Baltimore. There's the next one we want to look at. So the teams enter play with records of six and three. The Ravens, as you see here, are 1.37 to 3.175 favorite. Six and a half point favorite for the Ravens with an over under of 48.5. Both queen teams are playing just mediocre at the moment. You see the Ravens at average status and the Titans at average down. I'm going to take a look at the power rankings indicator. You can see they are deadlocked at plus 27. You can see how even these two teams are. Head to head, the teams played in the playoffs last year with Tennessee winning by a 28 to 12 score as a decided underdog. You take a look at the totals predictor. You want to consider the over under in this game. Tennessee playing in games trending over the line. Baltimore playing in games trending well under the line. You might want to hedge towards the under or avoid the bet altogether. Do not bet the over. That would be a very unwise decision on this one. How stable have the two teams been? Both moderately stable at plus three for Tennessee, staying that way. And uh, plus two for Baltimore. So what do we think as far as the outcome of this game? Well, first, let's take a look to see if there's been any movement in the line. So we take a look at the money line here. This is for Ravens. You can see that they opened at 1.391. And you can see now they're at 1.37. So there's been some movement in the line. You can see that it's even a stronger indication for the Ravens to win. And I do believe so also that the Ravens will come away with a win in this one. But Tennessee could cover the spread. I think it's going to be a close game. Miami at Denver. The Dolphins are burning hot at the moment, and the Broncos are average down. You see the odds are not yet posted for this game, so take a look at that later in the week, as far as that goes. Um, Broncos are 3-6. and six. You can see Miami's burning hot. Denver's average down, as I said before. You take a look at the power ranking indicator, you can see that Miami is significantly higher. They're on an upswing at plus 26, and Denver is down slightly from 13 to 12 over the last week. Take a look at the tallest predictor. 
you can see that Miami's playing in games trending under the line. Denver's playing in games trending over the line. In that case, it's probably best to avoid the over and under. Let's see how stable the two teams have been. Are they performing consistently according to their favorite underdog stats? You can see both teams have kind of been up and down as far as this category goes. But right now, Denver shot up there at plus four, so they've been much more consistent lately, and Miami is at plus two. So when I'm thinking about this game, again, the lines are not been posted. You want to check, but I think it's not going to matter too much what the line is. Denver will be an underdog at home. Miami will be a, a road fair by how much, I don't know. But I think Miami's probably going to win by close to a touchdown. So I think Miami will win and cover. The Green Bay Packers and the Indianapolis Colts. The Packers continue to roll through the AFC North, coming in with a record of 7-2. They face the Colts, who are surprising, at 6-3. and three. You can see right now the stats is average up for the Colts, burning hot for the Packers. Again, here's a game where the odds have not yet been posted. Check again later in the week for this. But I would assume that the Packers would be a slight road favorite. Not a huge road favorite, but they will be a favorite on the road. I'm pretty sure of that. Um, if you take a look at the power ranking indicator, you will see that Green Bay is at plus 24. Indianapolis is at plus 15, and they're slightly on that downward trend. If we're looking at the over and under, you can see that Green Bay is playing in games trending over the line. The Colts also trending over the line. Even though, again, even though the line is not set, I would say just by the trends, I would pick the over on this one. How stable are the two teams? You look here that the Colts are plus four in stability. Green Bay is at plus two. So what do I think is going to happen as it boils down to the, as far as the win and loss? I think the Packers will win on the road. But again, I think it's going to be close, perhaps by no more than a field goal. So check the line before you you make your, your final bet as far as the point spread goes. The Chiefs and the Raiders. This is a really good matchup. In the AFC West, the Chiefs are burning hot. The Raiders are burning hot. The Chiefs are 8-1 on the season. Their only loss coming to the Raiders, who are 6-3, and three, and they will beat the Chiefs by a 40-32 score in the first meeting. If you look at the power ranking indicator, you will see that the Chiefs are at plus 30. The Raiders are on the rise. They're at plus 23. In the totals predictor category, you see that, <clears throat> excuse me, that the Chiefs are trending under the line. The Raiders are playing in games trending under the line as well. So in that case, it's probably best to bet the under in this one. Looking at the volatility oscillator, you will see as far as how stable the two teams are. The Chiefs are at plus four, more stable than the Raiders, who are at plus two. The line, again, the line is not set yet for this one, so normally they're set by this time. They're not yet, so again, check back later in the week for that. But I do think that the Chiefs will walk away with the win and increase the lead in the division. I think the lead will be, I think the win will be by less than a touchdown. So, depending on the uh, spread, I think the Chiefs will be a favorite, actually, on the road, but the Raiders might cover. Okay, so there you have Those are all the games for this week. Hope you enjoyed the video. Happy betting, and we will see you next week.